Hi, I'm Richard Wheeler, and this is Richard Wheeler Works. It's a Twitch stream where I work. And I'm coming to you today, Wednesday, June 16th, 2021, um, from, <laughs> from a, a bunker, one of the bunkers, Bunker B, Bunker C, I'm not quite sure. Uh, so let's um, start with a blank slate here. We've got a web browser open. Let's go to Instagram. Maybe. Uh, no, we were were we looking at YouTube before? What were we doing before? Yeah, we were looking at YouTube, weren't we? And looking at some stuff. I'm kind of just wandering right now. You know, I'm in the middle of a bunch of stuff. This is uh, if I could see what you see. Viewing party linear shaft applications and related alterations. That's interesting. Um, let's go to a different account here. Uh, let's add an account. If I could see what you see, project I've been working on for a number of years now, which is an open source surveillance photography pedagogy project. It's an attempt to use military, police, government, PR, and propaganda to include uh, journalism, but that is created uh, with the permission or participation of uh, militaries, um, you know, and deconstructing this publicly available information to understand practices of intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance, specifically close target reconnaissance or special reconnaissance, or, uh, physical reconnaissance at close range. Because for me, that's where a lot of interesting stuff takes place. Okay. Preamble. Now we... Oh, 12 hours ago! Here we go! La de... J.S.E. Innove Secretement. All right. The J.S.E. is the... Um... Oh, wait. I wonder if you can hear... Shoot. Can you hear anything? Audio computer is at zero. Uh, rah, 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 rah. Let's take a look at system references. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't do this thing for those of you who... Oh, shoot. What is it? Urgh. I can't remember what the sound settings are now. I'm gonna... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Aggregate device. You should just do a whole episode <laughs> where I set this up because this is what a lot of it is. Um, God, I don't even have any of those set up. All right, so I th think what I'm trying to do here is set input to I show you audio capture. Yes, yes, test, test, okay. What is multi output device test test test? Okay, let's see. Maybe you'll hear sound, maybe you won't. Anyway, um, yeah, here we go. This is like the French CIA. Is this the French CIA or is this like uh, somebody's like bad fantasy animation project? Lancement algorithme. I feel like that's a direct quote from The Matrix.
What is this supposed to be telling us? Okay. I mean, I guess that's... I guess that's worth something. I don't know. That was kind of silly. Um, so, remember what I do here is this is just my YouTube feed of whatever the algo is showing me. And then... Um, you know, which is sorted by whatever. And then I have subscriptions. Um, how do you do that again in YouTube where you just see a list of them? Just not on that sidebar. Right. Oh, this is just showing new things from my subscriptions. It's better. Oh. <clears throat> you know, problem with this, well, there, so you, there are two ways you can do it, right? One is you can look in the sidebar here at these, um, at the, uh, you can see where I'm going. mouse, you can't, uh, at, you know, with the blue dot, it shows there's been something. I guess since I last looked at it, I don't remember when that was, three months or something, so. Hmm. Urban breaching. Well, I always like breaching. Hmm. All right. This is... part of the core project, but I'm interested in some of these things. So, let's save those for another day. And then, so oh, this channel is a zombie channel up until seven months ago, and now they're putting more stuff in. Interesting. 13 Lichter Brigade is a Dutch military unit. Not a lot going on. Yeah. Eleven is the one that's more interesting. Um, this is the Italian uh, Carabinieri, which is like a uh, gendarme force. You know, they don't really usually have a lot. They, they don't. It's very policey what they do. A lot of action on their channel, though. But not a lot of ISR stuff. I don't know. Maybe I don't look close enough. Inside Calabria. Well, that sounds very. Jordanian Armed Forces. This is hard, right? Because I know like zero Arabic. So it's just going off pictures. But what I found is the Jordanian military has a lot of like... I mean like this is a king. The king. The king when he was younger, right? This is the deceased king. I mean this previous king. Is dead long with the king. I just don't know what's going on here. So, I need medicine. Yeah, this isn't going to be as. This is not really for this project. I should subscribe to this somewhere else. Mm, I mean, ROTC. <clears throat> Again, not really good for this project. It's just like general military stuff. Ooh, this is interesting. Look. They're uh, they're setting it uh, to premiere at a certain point. Uh, 
yeah, ROTC, Reserve Officer Training Corps, and not a lot of interesting things, basic soldiering stuff. Armée de terre de l'armée française. I mean, I think they've got a pretty strong social media presence to include YouTube. I mean, just you can look at the amount of work they put into the the design. I mean, they're actually doing something. Okay, le Griffon du troisième R E M A. Uh, that's a vehicle. Griffon. Drones, not robots. Drones. Tanks. Synthèse annuelle des divisions d'application au côté de 24e Regiment Infantry. Hmm. No, no. Exoskeletons. Shooting a thing. Mortars. We looked at this one. That's the last. Okay. Les Français opération militaire. Yeah, it's interesting. They split up their their. They have two channels. One's like what's going on out in the world, and the others more just like about the army. Okay, fin de quatre mois d'opération pour le coup aéronaval. Oh, interesting. Tire explosif Johnny Mission Links. Mm, not interesting. Aid humanitaire sans pincent ventos, not interesting. Yeah. This one might be interesting. Nah, it's just commando shit. Battalion de Carabinier, uh, Swiss unit, light infantry. The monde de ski alpin. Nope. Belgian defense. Videos in, ah, you can see up top here, in uh, Flemish and French. Usually the same video is released in both languages. Uh, what is this? Celtic Uprise 2021. Retour aux tâches essentielles. What's this? Technopolis? That's something medical. Combat engineers. And let's come back three months here. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Nothing there. Bundeswehr. German army. German military in general. Yeah. Army. Uh, okay, KSK is the German, like, Tier 1 unit. Um, I always look at Tier 1 things. Not because uh, I'm so excited about Tier 1 in general. It's because typically Tier 1 units have special reconnaissance capabilities and missions. It's interesting that they have uh, some titles in... Uh, English. Look, Lampioneer, the Bundeswehr sets in Minen, Rhineland. Always like watching people ride motorcycles, even though I cannot ride a motorcycle. Something going on there, I'm not quite sure. Hmm, Minelang. I mean, I'm interested in. But now, what is this?
Hmm. Okay. So yes, I'm going to... Yes, that is the thing I will look at more later because reconnaissance. Bundeswehr has multiple channels. I don't know what the difference between Bundeswehr and Bundeswehr exclusive is. This tends to be a younger channel. It's more uh, social media friendly. Don't know why? Yeah, they have vlogs. Okay, or vlog. I don't know. I don't. This Twitch stream isn't real. I don't know what any of this is called. Eine zweite chance. Okay, division ready to protect you. Okay. Oof. All right, nothing there. CIA. What does the Central Intelligence Agency have on their YouTube channel? Humans of CIA. <laughs> That's funny. It's like that Humans of New York. Uh, uh, hunt for Bin Laden. Uh, Special, um, I'm going to open these in other uh, windows because I'm going to share those with somebody. This is, just so you know, so Corona was the first, these are related, that one I just opened in this one. Um, Corona is the first uh, spy site. And Skyhook is the mission to retrieve the product from Corona, basically. Oh, excuse me. It's related. Skyhook is this. You, you can see it here. Uh, very tiny. You can see it, but it's uh, a system to catch people um, from the ground. With it. You see, There's a Batman uh, movie. Anyway, here, I'll just play it for you. Jesus. <laughs> John Wayne in uh, the Green Berets. There we go. That's Skyhook. It's related to. There we go. See? So, uh, but the Corona, it's the other way. They would drop the film canisters from space and. Uh, catch them in a plane using the same kind of catcher system. Okay, yeah, so, um, ba ba ba. This looks like the CIA Museum. Which is a cool museum, I've got to tell you. Some weird stuff in there. Uh, now you can see it online, in a video. Uh, CG, CJTF. H-O-A-P-A-O, -A -A Combined Joint Task Force, Horn of Africa, Public Affairs Office. C-12 detachment? Yes, C-12 is a ISR platform. Can be an ISR platform. Cyber defense, I'm not interested in. Just not interested in anything cyber. Okay. Defense jobs Australia, probably not a lot here. Army Reserves, ADFA, nope. Defense Nacional, Mexico. This is like the Department of Defense of Mexico. Mexican military usually doesn't have a lot of stuff for this project. Just look general military stuff. I can't tell though, again, maybe my my like lack of Spanish hurts me in understanding. Uh let's see, Department of Defense of Australia. Usually not a lot here. Departments of Defense in general don't tend to have a lot of good stuff for this project because like they're looking at the whole the whole big machine 
right? And I'm looking at a tiny, tiny, tiny part of the machine, which is just this intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance piece. And usually the very, very specialized stuff within that ISR piece, like the you know special reconnaissance part. I do look at larger stuff, but uh, you know the it's few and far between the nuggets of good stuff. So here's the Department of Defense of the United States. Again, it's going to be similar. It's not, not going to be a lot of stuff. These uh, channels tend to have a mix of like recruiting mission and uh, you know making the military look good in general mission. They have they they, they serve many masters. These. Um, uh, sites so they don't tend to have a lot okay so here's oh yeah did i say this one i did this is uh la dgs recruit des militaires right so this is the uh there this is an orientation for french military people about how they can join uh the dgsc the dgs French CIA. So we can actually learn something here. First step, you go to an orientation thing, you sign up for a thing, they email you when they're doing a recruiting uh, event. Technical interview, psychological interview, security background check. I don't know what DRH is. Oh, it's probably Department of Human Resources. Yeah, Department de Resources Humaines de l'Armée. Okay. Ah, see, that's interesting. That they have, that it's... I wonder if that's... See, they... That's interesting. Is it always September? That's a question. Say this is... So, okay, this is the kind of thing I get out of doing this research, is look at these tiny details, like, why September, right? Is it always September? So what does that tell you? Are there people moving around? Do you look at LinkedIn? Then? I mean, like, I'm not looking to out anybody as a DGSE agent. That's not my intent. But it tells you something about, like, looking for details of training, looking for people, and how do you look for details of training? You look for things in the open internet. That could be uh, PR propaganda stuff. It could be, uh, you know, websites of the military itself that describe courses. A lot of times courses are shared, right? Like specialized like the Defense Photo School of the British Army, that uh, they have that course for 473, uh, you know, people who made it through the 473 selection. And after they do that, their initial workup, one of the following courses is the photo course. You know, is that also a resource for MI5, MI6? I don't know. Maybe. Right? Depends on how things are structured. Uh, like, there are, it depends on what does paramilitary mean for a given country, what forces are paramilitary, uh, what authoritarian, authorities, authorities are paramilitary, right? So there are paramilitary forces within the DGSE, there's the action service of the DGSE, that's like ground branch or maritime branch of CIA. 
right? That's their, which are the, part of the paramilitary, the special activities division. I, don't, I think it's called something new now. But, you know, is it, is, is the, the, is the National Intelligence Service paramilitary forces, are they set up such that the people go from the military into this paramilitary force and there's a hard division? Or is it just that there's, these are military people, but now they're under something? Like, my understanding is the Action Service and the DGSC, they're still members of the military. I may be wrong. I, I, you know, the Action Service, though, is... Um, it's... Uh, I, yeah, I believe it's broken. I don't know. But yeah, th this is where these these questions come up for me, is looking at something like this. I'm like, okay, so why September? You know, and, and what does that tell me about looking for other things, if anything? Um, nothing in here about the training. Restez discret sur votre candidature. <laughs> so what does that mean? Don't like it? 113 people liked it. Who liked it? Uh... <laughs> mm, interesting, interesting. Uh, okay, so this is a commenter saying it's very difficult to join the DGSC because your chain of command isn't interested in it. Restez connecté sur notre chaîne pour découvrir de très prochainement le parcours de Camille, Julie et Paul. Oh, okay, well there's going to be some more. Cool, cool, cool. Stay tuned. David's Hub. This is the Defense Video and Imagery Distribution Service. This is like the clearinghouse for T thirty six day and night ops. Sorry, let's say that here. Iranian Republican Guards something Navy. Yeah, this is just like roundups. David's. I've not been doing stuff lately. Oh, wow. It was a zombie channel until recently. École des Commissaires des Armées. Uh, I don't know what that means. I think this is officer trainings. Chilean army. Soldados conscriptos, formado combatientes. They have a conscript army in Chile's Chile still. Wow. Well, here's somebody with some things. Museo Histórico de Tarapaca. Plains. They always show mountain training in Chile. Emphasize the diversity of their environment and the diversity of their operational capabilities. All militaries do that. Anything special they can do? Any, you know, because like ability to operate in austere environments is usually reserved for elite forces. And so they're like, look, we can climb mountains. We're elite. All military PR wants to show you elite shit. So that's where that's where the action is for a project like mine. Because that's where they show you stuff where it's like, yeah, but elite people do, you know, spooky shit too. Right? 
Special Reconnaissance has this intimate relationship, in my opinion, with... I mean, it's not an opinion with Special Forces, because a lot of it's about access, right? You can get close, if you can get closer to things, you can see different things. And so there's this... Uh, uh, see, it's interesting. Is this... Where's he shooting? Where's he shooting? Oh, I can't tell. It's the shotgun. <sighs> so yeah, Special Reconnaissance is why it frequently lives with Special Forces, because it's... You know, they can get closer. See more stuff. Oh look, we have a toucan. Uh, yeah, that wasn't super interesting, sorry. Italian army. Huh. Yeah, they have this big series about reporters being trained. Division Acre. Which is interesting, right? Here, there, you know, this is how militaries capture the press. Right? Do dog and pony show. Come be a soldier. Come do cool shit. Right? Be nice. Say nice things about us. Er, okay. Agency. Oh, God, it's going to be even worse than Department of Defense, all of Europe. It's usually like ministers talking. Budgets. Boring. Same thing here. <laughs> European Action Service. A lot of people would say it's an oxymoron, like uh, military intelligence. Sorry! But, you know. Yeah, this is all like old white dudes talking in a microphone. Okay. A lot of action is what I'm trying to say. Brazilian army. Yep, not seeing a lot there. Forces news from the United Kingdom. Not a lot here. What's that? that? Yeah, I just saw somebody looking through an optic. I love this. Falklands War Timeline. Chinook upgrade. They probably still have Chinooks from the Falklands War. Um, maybe. This is interesting. I saw a story about German reserves somewhere else. Why is the UK doing something about that? Crown Chief. It's a ceremonial position in a lot of Commonwealth militaries. Patron of the. Ooh. Does joining the military before your 18 mean an increased PTSD risk? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. Probably. It's confronting extremely difficult stuff uh, before you have a fully developed prefrontal cortex. Uh, does that increase your risk of PTSD?
Du, 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 Inside the glass house. This is not a prison. Yeah, this is the British military's punishment era unit. Okay. Uh, Forsvaret. Um, uh, Forsvaret.no. This is a Norwegian army. This is a generic term for army in. Norway, Sweden, Scandinavian countries. There's some variation of this word. Okay, Special Forces, 55 seconds now. What that means. So I'm gonna save that. Okay, so this is the Danish army, I think. Yes, Donsk. Helicopter outside, I can't tell. There is a helicopter outside. Okay. Nothing there. Fort Benning. The military base is big enough to have its own YouTube channel. These tend to be pretty dull. Thing about Fort Benning, though, here we go, is that they are the home of the U.S. Army Sniper School. So sometimes that's worth it there. Although Sniper School's videos are all the same. It's like people in the mud. At least U.S. Army Sniper School. Wait, what was that? Another sniper school video, that's what that was. Okay. Uh, we already looked at the Colombian Army. This is like Colombian Department of Defense, so not that useful, probably. Lab, it's like we're investing in this stuff and innovation and future and all this kind of BS and people like yeah. too, I'm not going to go through a 25 minute video about that crap what is this uh, this is the Finnish Swedish uh there's a flag. Ah, Swedish. Uh, that I can tell by the camouflage. Okay. Robots. Okay. I think we're going to do half of this today. This is what we should do. You know, I'm still figuring out what this is like as a long-term project. I think I should look at this like once every quarter and have that a set thing. And uh, so, like, I'll look at this again in uh, June, July, in September, this September. Gendarmerie Nationale. There are multiple gendarmerie sites. I don't know why. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, 
including Q&A. Immersion, opération anti-stupifiant. Devenir sous-officier de gendarmerie, le point de... <rire> Illusion avec le PSMP. Donna. Donna, that is. Papoum! There we go. Vos gendarmes en groupe. D'observation. Ok, c'est quoi ça? Boom! Bilateral is um, uh, tailing. Techniques. So this is great, right? This is cool. We got this stuff that's, you know, in yellow. These are the, the key terms, search terms, right? So if we, but if we say group d'observation is de surveillance. Huh. Cool, right? Karma fit. This is probably some like former, um, you know, special forces guy who has a, you know, fantasy workout thing. Dans cette vidéo, retrouvez les principaux domaines d'expertise de GIGN. Ok. Héros de quotidien, gendarmerie nationale, PSIG, mission de surveillance pendant la crise COVID-19, ok. Entraînement GIGN. Filature à risque. Ok. So, more stuff to look into here. Oh, this is interesting. French... G-I-G-N in Portuguese, G-O-E. So this is cool, the, right? Because now, I, I don't know the Portuguese equivalent to this. Brasileiros. You know, I'm still working on a, a chart that uh, does this even at a military level, let alone a paramilitary level, because the gendarmes are, well, they're part of the French army, but it's like they're a, 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 a paramilitary, oh, I don't know, because they have police functions. So anyway, this is cool to know, like, what what are the, oh, that's the hypermarché, the, okay. Okay, well, we got that link for it. Well, as you can see, what's the middle of the alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. M. There's a lot of M's. So we're almost halfway through the alphabet. But uh, these are all things that. Oh. Ah, we're almost at 50 minutes. Yeah, I think it takes two sessions to go through about three months. I've never really figured that out. 
recruiting, uh, Go Army is an army recruiting site. So they tell you a little bit about jobs sometimes, but they also typically don't talk about the jobs I'm interested in. Because the jobs I'm interested in tend to be follow on training. Well, this looks like 11 seconds, who cares? Guardia Civil, that's the Spanish gendarme paramilitary force. Just watched a great eight part documentary on Amazon Prime about the Guardia Civil and the uh, ETA, the Basque separatist group. Also, a good uh, documentary about Guardia Civil on um, Netflix called La Linea which is about the city right next to Gibraltar, uh, across the Straits of Gibraltar from uh, Morocco, where a lot of drugs come in. So they're clearly spending money on all this. Boy, they really would like to tell us about all the drugs that stopped. Uh, Inspection for the submarinistas de la Guardia Civil. Okay. Um, don't really speak Spanish, but I understand a little bit more cop Spanish now because I've watched, you know, uh, 12 or 16 hours of you know, this stuff. We have a basic, 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 basic. Awareness. This is interesting. Servicio Montaña Modificado. Uh, interesting to me. Mm. I'm interested in this project. But the gendarme services of European countries are responsible for mountain search and rescue. Here again, I think. Drugs, just a lot about drugs. There's definitely some cool stuff in here, but I don't know. I feel like I need to do a deep dive into some of these. Unidad Especial de Intervención. Which is, yeah, I need to like go do that chart. How does it all fit together? Because a lot of what they do is, is just standard cop stuff, and I want the you know, special stuff. Is that you? Right there? Mm -hmm. Can you see when I... We've only got one monitor here. All right, no, three months. Okay, Hellenic Navy. Okay. Do I have a Greek army? Hellenic Navy probably does a lot of border stuff that they're not showing here. I wonder why. Uh, Heron is like, here is like, army, is like, which country is this again? Norwegian army. Okay, that was, that is maybe just like the military general. This is U.S. Army MLRS multiple launch rocket system. Chinese winner in Norway. Hmm. Okay. This is some Scandinavian engineering regiment. <laughs> it's alright, guys. I mean, no disrespect. I'm just trying to. Just, uh, no, sorry, trying to look. Recognize that optic. IDF. Woo! 
Okay, haven't been on the IDF page for a while. IDF social media is definitely strong. Okay, there's no doubt about that. They know how to use color. They know how to use type. They know how to use design. Uh, they know how to use the fact that they recruit from the entire nation and can put their prettiest people in pictures. That's what they do. Heavy propaganda. Heavy propaganda. Right? They show also multi-language, right? So there's a French IDF, there's a Spanish IDF, there's a Russian IDF page, there's a Arabic IDF page. There's obviously a Hebrew IDF page. Why Hamas? I'm going to save this for something else. A lot of... I'm dumb. A lot of Iron Dome stuff. We'll, we'll go to, uh, let's see how far we get. Can you defense forces? I have to say, the African militaries that I've seen, they tend to just be like talking heads. It's not interesting. It's just like press conferences or statements. Uh, this is, landmark means army in Dutch, I think. The walking soldier, what is this? Hmm, this is a guy who, yeah, the Germans do this too, a lot of armies do this. They like have a person who goes around and sort of your guide go on weekend do the food perfect I'm not seeing a here. Dutch Navy, oh sorry, Dutch Marine Infantry. This is confusing. Hmm. NL Marsoff in Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Francaise. There are like three French armies. I don't know what they are to. I don't understand. All this YouTube, I don't understand. Just my job, five days a week. Legion Étrangère. That's why Legion has its own. Which makes sense. Operation de déminage. Operation de déminage, Cambodge. 
Centre de Guérison Commando du 1er Régiment d'Étrangers Commando. Major Gérald. Still. Préparation pour traverser de la Manche. Wow! Chant de la Légion étrangère. Ok. Only the good ones, I hope. <laughs> this is, I mean, this has nothing to do with the project I'm working on here, but uh, Major Gérald is a, like, YouTube celebrity for certain people who uh, was, was part of the French Foreign Legion, is no longer, I think, with the French Foreign Legion, but he still does French Foreign Legion uh, social media because he's, like, massive, and that's just basically a recruitment video for the French Foreign Legion. Well, I, we made it to, let's take a look here. Uh, we made it up to Légion Étrangère, so we'll do Marines and after on Friday. Uh, and then we will have done, yeah, but I, so it takes about two hours to do, two hours of work to process three months, more or less, of new, video roughly um, and then I mean just so you know though where does all this go uh, um, right like how many videos are here So I've got 338 videos in this new videos to review um, bucket. Assume some of the unavailable videos are hidden. Um, so why doesn't that? Uh, yeah. So huge backlog to go through and process, you know, so as you can see, I'm working on multiple things at the same time because it's too big uh, and, and I get lost in, in parts, you know, I'm still trying to understand what all these units are. I'm still trying to understand what happens on Instagram. I'm still trying to understand what happens on YouTube. I'm still trying to create a process that can reliably find videos, find Instagram, look at the parts that are new, integrate them into the whole, you know, having this uh, distributed open source process, which I'm probably the only person working in, it can be, it, it's, it's a lot. You know, there is a lot out there and, and it's a, it's a like panning for gold kind of thing. You know, you gotta, you gotta go through a lot of sand and rocks to get to those little, little tiny pieces of gold. So yeah, 338 videos. So we'll probably get up to at least 350 videos. I mean, how many did we get to? Here we've got, uh, let's see, six per screen. So six, uh, 12, 14. 
right 14 today we're at 338 yeah so we'll get up to around 350 so I mean maybe you know every three months <laughs> you know 30 video 10 videos a month one video every three days it's not it's a trickle you know and you saw how many other videos are I mean there's a massive amount of content out there um, we're just picking up tiny little parts Okay, well, uh, that was a day's work. I'm Richard Wheeler. This has been Richard Wheeler Works. I'll see you again soon.